What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Andrew Walker. You guys are watching Cast and Conquer and we are back out on the hard water chasing muskies today. We're looking for toothy critters. Out with a client today. We just got the whole spread set up. We got two frostbite rods out, quick strike rigs on those, as well as 18 tip-ups. So flag goes up, fish is on, and you run, set the hook. Here in Quebec, we have muskie open until the end of March, March 31st, and we're allowed 10 lines per person. So we got our 20 lines out right now, out with the client, and we are just waiting for those flags to pop. We got a beautiful day, a little bit of snow forecasted later, but for the most part, it should be bluebird skies, clear, and it's cold. So we are hoping to see a flag or two. We're starting March right now, and uh, it should be a very productive day, so stick with us, and hopefully, in no time, we'll be back to you with a big, fat, female muskie. side right here you go right there it doesn't look like it took any line it looks like it's just straight up and down yeah he didn't take it just grabbed it yeah just tripped it Probably that same guy. Didn't even take any line. That's weird. That's funny because it doesn't happen very often, but it's happened with me and you twice now. Mm -hmm. He might be right there still though. Because normally even if they drop it, it's not like straight lines like that. It's mm -hmm. normally like they've taken it a little way, so your line's still on an angle, but he might have dropped it over here, you know? Yeah. So it's really weird that it's hit. It's like he bumped it, tripped the flag, and it just sank the bottom. No. He'll be like. Would have been a better sign if it was just peeling off. Yeah. Wow guys, pretty exciting. We just had that fish come in on camera. Came into uh, the mini Medusa, black and orange. We were just jigging it on the spot and hadn't been like five minutes that we were dropped in. Super fat fish. Um, I was saying it must have been 46, 48 inch probably. A uh, very, very fat fish. Came right up to the bait, nosed up to it. And like we were just jigging. Fish came in, didn't want anything to do with it, kind of looked at it for a second or two and then just swam off slowly and never came back, but hopeful. That gives us much hope there's a very big fish around and uh, I think that sometime today we should see that fish pop a flag. So we're fishing this bait right now on the Slugger from Frostbite. It's a 46 inch extra heavy and I have it paired with uh, Tranks 401 HG and I got some rod leashes on there for when I set them outside. I always put a peg in the ground and then use my rod leash just to make sure if ever it popped out of the holder um, it's not going to go down the hole and I'm not going to lose like a $500 combo. So that's what we're working with today. We know there's big fish around now so hopefully we can see that fish come and come back and eat something like this. Maybe we're going to get the tantrum down there. If not we got all those mackerels all around the tent so should be able to get that fish before it moves out of the zone and uh, see what happens. Come on the side with the scoop. Put your board just right there anywhere. He hasn't taken any more line. He's just 
slack. It must be right under us. Yeah, he's still there. He's pulling. I just want him to go away and then you're gonna set it. He's kind of straight up and down underneath us right now. I don't feel him, I just... He's, he's right under the hole. Okay, get ready. Grab it right now, set it hard, hard. Pull, 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 yeah. If he wants to go, let him go. But he's hooked now. I'll grab the leader and land him once he comes in the hole here. Keep good tension on him. You can pull harder than that. Okay, yeah, that. let him go when he does those. It's a good fish. We got one, guys. Big one. Okay, once we see the leader, okay, go easy, easy. Easy, it's a nice one. It's a big one. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. It's bad hook right there. I don't like that. Okay, we got him. We got him. Pop it out, just that one, so I can grab him and dip him. It's not cold, so. Now, I'll watch out for that hook while grabbing him on this side. I'll put him back in. Dip him, get his eye wet. See that second one there? I, I won't let go of his, of his, uh... no, yeah, use the pliers. Push it down, yeah. Okay, open the board and put it beside me. Way to go, bud. This is a really nice fish. Super fat. 46 and three quarters. Okay, now I'm gonna put him back in. Now you can grab him. I'll get the camera. Keep his eyes always submerged. Jaw lock right in there. Tell me when you got him, good. Yeah. Keep him down, gills in the water. Just gonna dry my hands off for a second. Nice fish. What a fish, bud. Way to go, 47 and a half, 46 and three quarters, sorry. Thank you, Cast and Conquer. Yeah, bud. Thank you very much. Let's get him back. She should go really fast. Give her a little side-to-side -side movement. Bye-bye. Yeah, bud. Way to go. Hey. Well, guys, we're drawing to an end here now. It's 10 after 5. We just got into our miner, and uh, me and Darian are still patiently waiting for a flag. We've had no other real fish activity. The underwater camera died, so we haven't been able to see anything. But we're still here jigging the tantrum. We're gonna start packing around 5.30 and then pack the tent first and then slowly start picking up the discs. So if nothing else happens, thanks for checking out this week's video and be sure to tune in next week. We've got tons of fire content coming right now. A lot of musky stuff and some special, special stuff in April that you'll just have to stay tuned to see. So thanks for checking it out. Be sure to subscribe and until next week, see you guys later.